Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video I'm going to discuss what I think is the biggest issue and in fact my only issue with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. This is an issue which I think is part due to game design and part due to how people actually play the game. I'll also offer a suggestion how I think the issue could be fixed which would make the game even better. As for the gameplay in this video I decided to try and get the emergency airdrop kill streak. This is a streak which drops three random kill streak care packages. I'd never used it before so I wanted to try it out and see what I could get. Before I begin to discuss the issue I want to make it clear that I love playing Modern Warfare 2. I believe I said in my first impressions Modern Warfare 2 video that I felt this is the best Call of Duty game we have had in years and I still stand by that statement. I think it is a fantastic game. It looks and plays great and I really enjoy it. Personally I'd like to have a few more maps, the ones we have are really good, but a few more would add some variety to the map rotation. With that said, and having made it clear that I love the game, I do think there is one glaring issue which I see in pretty much every single game that I play. The issue is people spending far too much time, in fact most of their time, aiming down sight with their gun. Instead of moving around the map a bit, then aiming down sight when they actually need to, they spend most of the game in ADS mode. As I said at the beginning of this video, I think this happens for two reasons. One is that the game and some of the map design makes this an effective way to play and somewhat actually encourages it. I'm not sure it's much fun mind you, but it can be effective. The second reason is that just as I have said, players realise this can be an effective strategy and they do this all the time trying to continually have the upper hand as they play the game. So there are two different styles of ADS players that I see. The first are people who do move around a bit but they are continually in ADS mode. They walk extremely slowly, trying not to make any noise, with gun raised and they look down their sights at whichever spots they think an enemy will come from. Basically they are waiting for people to run into that spot at which they are aiming so all they need to do is pull the trigger. The second style of ADS player which I want to spend a bit more time discussing is what I consider to be the worst. I think this is what really spoils the game and I personally just can't imagine how it's any fun to play this way. This second type of player is someone who will try to get into a spot from which they think they can get easy kills, but it will be hard for them to actually get killed. They get into their spot then just sit there in ADS mode watching a specific door or lane or wherever they think an enemy will come from. I'm often encountering a number of players working together using this playstyle and when that happens the game just gets ruined and I will give some specific examples of how this happens shortly. With this type of player, and especially if there is a group of them working together, you have absolutely no chance. Even if you have more skill than them, the time to kill is so fast in this game that you have no chance. They're aiming down sights and all they need to do is pull the trigger. Unfortunately some of the maps are designed in a way that if a number of players work together using this tactic, then the game becomes almost unplayable. Let's look at a few examples of this. On the map Mercado Las Almas I will often encounter an entire team taking up residence in this building, the cantina. It's easy to position themselves at the windows and doors and they can be very effective at watching all the lanes which approach this building. Using a combination of snipers, rifles and other guns, rocket launchers, deployable barricades and defence systems, they can pretty much make themselves untouchable and lock down this building. It's so bad that if you even put a toe around the corner of any of the approaching lanes you get sniped or blown up by a rocket launcher. This is all caused by people not moving and aiming down sight to cover every way an enemy can approach them. This can't be fun for the people in the building and for the team who are actually moving and trying to breach the building it's just instant death repeatedly over and over again. Now of course we do have various types of grenades at our disposal but the game provides counters to these and I don't find they actually help that much in a situation like this. We can also try and use tactics but this spot can be locked down so well it's so hard to do anything and spending most of the game trying to force the enemy team out of this building is just more of a chore than it actually is fun. 
It's also vital for any team wanting to tackle a situation like this to be communicating over headsets and to be working effectively as a team and coordinating their attack. I just don't think that's going to happen and many people just want to play solo, they're not using a headset to communicate and they're just out to have some fun. So this is the problem that I am seeing over and over again on many of the maps every time I play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. To quickly give a couple more examples, I see it a lot on border crossing, especially at the tunnel area and also on the road outside it with the large trucks. Players get into spots where they are aimed down sight, from spots from which they can get an easy kill on you but it's almost impossible to shoot them first so you just keep dying over and over. I won't name the exact spots as I don't want to encourage this type of gameplay but I'm sure you have or will experience it at some point. The map Albagra Fortress can be a complete nightmare as well and I'm sure you've seen this yourself. If your team spawns in the area with the statue of the person on a horse, the game can become a nightmare very quickly. You have in short three main ways out of here and it's very easy for an enemy team who love to remain stationary and aim down sight to lock down this area, so if you try to leave it, you're going to get killed. They position themselves at the other side of the map and they watch all three of these main exit areas. They have so many perfect vantage points including small windows and doorways from which they can ADS all your potential ways out. I could give more examples of this on other maps but I think what I've covered so far gives sufficient example. So that is the problem but what is the actual solution? Well I don't think redesigning maps is an option and to be fair, as I said earlier, I really like the maps. I don't think making people who are stationary in ADS appear on the minimap is much help either because it's quite easy to know where people are camping without that. My suggested solution is to impose a time restriction on how long people can actually remain in ADS mode without firing. I think 4 seconds would be a good time. That's actually a long time in a Call of Duty game and especially a long time to be aiming down sight. If you don't come out of ADS after 4 seconds, then during the 5th second your aim would start to move around a bit and your character could make some subtle noise as if they're getting tired from holding their gun in ADS mode for so long. If you use a controller and you've got vibration turned on, it could even vibrate a little. If you don't come out of ADS by the 6th second and you haven't fired, then the game will force you out of ADS. If you reach that 5th or 6th second without firing whichever way you come out of ADS mode then the game should impose a delay of 3 seconds before you can ADS once more. If you come out of ADS mode yourself before the end of the 4th second, or if you fired your gun, then there is no penalty. It is of course possible someone may keep firing a bullet every few seconds to avoid the penalty, however this will make noise, there will be some recoil, and they will eventually run out of ammo, wasting it in this manner. Obviously this would need to be tested, but to me it seems like a really good solution. It means people can't ADS for so long, they must take breaks from ADS mode, and if they don't then the game will enforce that they do and impose that slight penalty. I think the effect of this is that it will force a few players to feel like they need to move around more, and even if they don't, it's going to give other players a few seconds here and there to be able to attack campers without knowing that they face instant death in the game. Overall, this is going to give the gameplay a better flow and make it a less frustrating experience on many of the maps. So those are my thoughts on the biggest issue with Modern Warfare 2 and how I personally would fix it. I absolutely love the game, but for me this small change would turn it into something really special. However, this is just my opinion and I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments section below this video. Are you encountering the same issue as me with so many people being ADS for most of the game? How do you deal with it? What would your proposed solution be? Or do you think my idea sounds like the perfect solution. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, stay tuned to see the rest of the gameplay, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you would like to see more of my future content. I will see you soon for another video.
Covering your six. Copy that. Longbow 3 1 on station. Go for task. Hostiles launched an SAE. One more free one. 